Hey Cappies, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles, guys. I could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and leave it as not fit for your situation, guys. Okay, so let's tap in Cappies. Let's see what's going on. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascendant masters, please give me clear messages for Capricorn. Um, please return any spell work, any dark magic that's sent to harm um, the collective and their loved ones, me and my loved ones. Please return it back to the sender. Thank you so much. So let's see what angels are guiding you on your path, the Capricorn. Let's see, guys. What's going on here for Capricorn? Okay, two wants to come out, so I'm going to leave them here. All right, so we have number 17. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. So we have our, um, Raul or Raul. I think it's Raul though. The G is silent. <laughs> Keeper of the Akashic Records. So we, it, um, blah, blah, blah. it says balance, peace, meditate according to plan, divine order, sacred knowledge, and research. I bring balance, order, and justice to those who act and who desire to follow God's plan for their lives. So you might need the crystal aquamarine. Something could be happening two weeks from now. Then we have to get more information. Okay, then we have number 14. Wow, Archangel Metatron, Angel of Divine Presence, Miracles, Powerful Change, Akashic Records, Sudden Shift, Spiritual Growth, and Hyper Focus. I hope you discover and develop your personal spiritual power and learn to use it to make a better world. So you might need the crystal Amatrine, Amatrine or Amatrine. Something could be happening within three months from now. Then we have Act Now. Okay, so it looks like there's a plan here that's being devised or it's like it's like it's being um put together okay it's just like a blueprint or something like that um so you have archangel metatron here that's a very powerful archangel there's a powerful shift or a change that's going to happen and everything is happening in divine order is going to plan here so don't try to flip or switch anything just do what spirit is telling you to do at this at this time okay something else about the akashic records yeah, this is the angel of Akashic Records. Archangel Metatron is the angel that rules Akashic Records too, though. So definitely, there's a lot of spiritual growth happening for you, Capricorn. Um, because you've decided to go on your path here. You've decided to do something here. Um, that is helping you to... Okay, air sign. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. That is helping you to grow spiritually um and everything like that so with you choosing this path and choosing peace choosing to bring balance back into your life and let things fall apart that need to fall apart and come together whatever needs to come together you're letting it come together you know it's something here that's that's changing for you and i feel like it's in a good way but there's a, a plan here that needs to be um 11th house what's 11th house oh aquarius so you could be dealing with an aquarius Okay, I saw fourth house. You could be dealing with cancer too. So let's see. Let's see what this is. I'm getting a lot of messages. Let's see. So we have talking shit, saying unnecessary shit behind your back, talking crap about you to others and false gossip. Okay. Who gives a fuck? Then we have soul contract. You are under a soul contract with someone. Twin flame soulmate karmic. I guess we're going to see which one it is. For some of y'all, I saw divorce. So some of y'all are getting rid of a karmic soulmate. All right, but let's see. Acting a fool. Someone who knows they are being childish and goofy, but doesn't care when the situation calls for maturity. Hmm. Okay, they're going to regret that too. What else? Then we have energy drainer. This person will drain you of your energy and everything you've got to give. Yeah, Mary. <laughs> yeah, for some of you guys, you're getting a divorce from somebody. You, yeah, the Hierophant could be dealing with the Taurus. Some of y'all, this is a spiritual, obviously a spiritual contract. You're married to this person. You were married to them in a the past life. Now it's your duty and it's your job to get away from this person so you can grow spiritually. Okay, but somebody, it looks like somebody has decided to do so to grow and move away from someone else so let's see i'm just talking shit here for capricorn one more time what is this talking shit card what 
is talking shit here? So I feel like there's a need to move on without worrying about what somebody is saying. You know, words are just words. They really, especially coming from people like this, they ain't really holding no weight. This, these people or this person is projecting. So what is talking shit right here? So the justice. Yeah, see, karmic justice. Libra energy, so balance. Yeah, balance is being restored in your life here. Some of you guys could be going through a court situation or something like that, but I'm getting a lot of gossiping. It's a lot of gossip, it is, but I feel like you don't give a fuck or you shouldn't. But I see balance, you know, what goes up must come down. Okay, somebody's getting their karma for something. They're going to get their karma for something. And I feel like you're being vindicated. I'm hearing vindicated or you're being, um, there's just karmic justice for you here. It's payback time for these hoes. Yeah, Six of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody could have a Taurus moon here. So definitely because somebody was abusing their position of authority with you. Somebody could have not been like refusing to pay you something in court. I don't know if they had to pay you back money, give you child support or whatever. But I feel like they're going to be made to give you something because this is what you're due, right? But the Six of Pentacles is like also gift giving with like strings attached. So every time they give you something, they will hold something over your head. It's like they'll take it back. They'll either take it back or when you try to do something for yourself or move on, they will kind of like, well, remember when I got you this or da, 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 to make you feel guilty. And every time they give you something, it's always for something else in return. So I'm just getting, they're getting, somebody's getting karma for that shit. Some of y'all could be unemployed. You could be out of a job right now or something like that. I feel like something is coming back into balance with that. But there could be a need to get rid of somebody that was giving to you a lot. Or, you know what I'm saying? Because they're not genuine. Somebody's really insincere. They're really ingenuine. Okay, yeah, Queen of Cups in reverse. <laughs> Somebody's a loser. Definitely a loser. Somebody here is very emotionally manipulative. They know how to get their way with you. They know your weak spot here. I feel like you see it, though. Seven of Cups in reverse. Or you need to see it. Some of y'all could be scared that somebody is going to bully you or, or harm you in some way. I don't know, but the, the laws are on your side, okay? So there's a need to, like, move forward, move on. All right, this could be emotionally manipulative woman or man. doesn't matter. It's just energy. But the Queen of Cups in Reverse is definitely... Some of y'all could be overextending. You're overgiving, okay, to this person. And there's a need to pull back, set boundaries. Because they're, they're abusing your generosity. This could be financial abuse for some of you, too. But I'm definitely getting somebody that's spiteful, revengeful. They're very vengeful. This person is nasty. Yeah, two of pentacles. Something about money. What's this um, justice right here, spirit, for Capricorn? Yeah, ten of pentacles. Definitely, some of y'all are going through a divorce, a breakup. Okay, um, somebody could be in trouble for some illegal activity. Somebody's doing something illegal. Somebody could be a scam artist. They could be a scammer or a thief. Or I'm getting like money laundering. Somebody's like stolen something from you or something like that. Somebody could have just thrown you off your path. They've thrown you off of your, wherever your, whatever your destiny is in this lifetime. Somebody throwing you off your path to get to it. You could have been going towards the Ten of Pentacles, but somebody tried to throw you off or throw, somebody tried to throw someone else off, right? Yeah. Somebody could have a Virgo Mercury. But the Ten of Pentacles in reverse is definitely a divorce. It's a dysfunctional family unit. It's losing a hell of a lot of money. Somebody's business could be going under. But definitely somebody, yeah, Will of Fortune in reverse. Somebody is, has lost a lot of fucking money and are getting bad karma for this shit here. Or this is somebody else's karma for putting you through some shit. Now they're stuck with this karmic or they're dealing with this karmic energy and they're losing money with this hoe. So what's the Six of Pentacles in reverse for Capricorn? Yeah, the world in reverse. Saturn energy with the world in reverse. So um, something here failed on well, this period. Whatever this is, it failed. It didn't work. Now somebody's out of a job. They're broke. I feel like somebody needs help, but they're broke. They don't know how to ask for it or they don't want to or something like that. But the world in reverse talks about something here that failed. Something, a cycle here that's been hard to get out of. I feel like somebody wants to keep a cycle open so they continue to bully somebody. They continue to like say mean things to them. They continue to kind of like push somebody's buttons to the point where they'll be like, well, okay, let me just stay in this shit. But I feel like it's that shit is ending. 
I feel like somebody here couldn't give to you because they were giving to somebody else as well. There's a cycle here that's not complete yet. It's still open with the world in reverse, but it also talks about somebody's burden, their stress. They have the whole world on their fucking shoulders. Thank you, spirit. Ten of wands. <laughs> they are. They have the whole world on their shoulders here. Whatever this shit is, it failed and backfired. This could result in legal trouble, though. What's the world in reverse? Let's see. Yeah, something is backfiring. Sagittarius energy with the eight of wands. Somebody got a Sagittarius Mercury. So somebody's getting some bad news. It could be getting bad. Somebody could be getting bad news online or something is being delayed. Somebody's money is being delayed to the point where they really don't have anything to pinch off of. They can't even penny pinch at this point because they don't have anything. Somebody's losing money. They're definitely losing money, losing a job. Eight of Wands in reverse. It's like something is slowly losing. It's, it's whatever was going on here that somebody had that kept going, whatever the cycle was that kept going is slowly closing out or slowly losing um, momentum. Okay, something is 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 slowly progressing for somebody to the point where they feel like they can't even. Mm -hmm. I'm also getting something here was bad timing or somebody missed an opportunity with you, but this cycle is still open though. I just feel like somebody's in an abusive relationship. So I'm getting abuse or they're in something where money is involved, a contract. I'm definitely getting a divorce possibly that somebody has to get that they've been slow to do because they don't want to lose this money or something like that. Somebody here doesn't have faith in this process. Okay. Hmm, but something is definitely going back on somebody though. It is. This person feels burdened as hell. Who's this Queen of Cups in reverse? The Queen of Wands, the Hierophant. Yeah, the Fool in reverse is a distraction. Somebody's been distracted from doing something. Taurus energy. Somebody could be on the Aries Pisces cusp. Scorpio Libra cusp. I mean, Libra Scorpio cusp. Um, somebody is just false. I feel like somebody is committed to somebody that's false. They, they, they act one way, but then when they don't get their way, they get hot tempered. This person gets mad really quickly. I feel like for some of you Capricorn though, you were giving to somebody, you were giving too much to somebody. And this person here lost their chance with you. They lost their chance. And I feel like they have already are involved or they already dealt with, were dealing with somebody else anyway. So I feel like this, whatever this cycle is, I feel like it's, it's slowly closing. Okay. Or this person was slow to close the cycle on their end. But I feel like you took your power back. With the Queen of Wands, you took your power back. I feel like you're, you're confident enough to walk away. You're brave enough to walk away from something. Okay, whatever this commitment is, somebody's committed to a goddamn mistress or they 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 carry themselves like a hoe or something like that. This person, this person don't really trust nobody. They can't even trust themselves. So I feel like they can't even give you or this person anything solid or stable. I'm, I'm just getting a flighty energy from somewhere. Um, some type of lesson that somebody was supposed to learn here. What's, um, but I'm saying two queens. What's the queen of wands? Who's this queen of wands right here? Yeah, three of swords. Yeah, third party situation. Something is heartbreaking. Okay, you could be dealing with a Libra Saturn or somebody has a Libra Saturn here. But definitely whoever this third party is, they're heartbroken or it's just, I feel like everybody in the situation is. You, this other person and this masculine here that's losing all this fucking money. Somebody here is getting in trouble. Big time. I feel like it's in the law. With the law. But I'm also getting this is karmic law, karmic justice. Things are playing out how it's supposed to be in divine order with this. Whatever this is that happened right here. Three of Swords is crying, is grieving, is pain. But I feel like you get you got your power back. You gain your you know, you gain control of yourself. You have control over your emotions and you you do the healing work here. But I'm getting this person definitely broke your heart though. And definitely this third party is heartbroken. They ass is heartbroken for sure. What's the Hierophant? You have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, some of y'all are going into a new connection. You have new love coming in. Yeah, because somebody, Knight of Swords in Reverse, somebody missed their opportunity because they were being a coward. They were being a pussy. They didn't want to come towards you the right way or something. 
they just missed their opportunity. They were a follower and not a leader. And I feel like you are, you step into this leadership position. You heal from this heartbreak. You started pouring into yourself. You pampered yourself here. You're not, because I feel like you were definitely overextending. You were overgiving. And it's, I feel like this, this cycle slowly has faded away or is slowly faded, but it's something here that's still open. It's like there's no proper closure, but you just took that L and you kept it moving, right? I feel like this person's going to have to, they're, they're dealing with their own bullshit. And this is what they get for lying to you or they did something. But a lot of y'all have a long-term commitment coming in. You have good news coming in with the Ace of Cups, a new contract, something that really aligns with your morals, integrity, your values, all that, you know, with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with the Taurus. So you have Taurus in your chart somewhere. So what's this soul contract right here for Capricorn? Okay, yeah, Ten of Swords. Yeah, somebody completely ruined the soul contract that they had with you. But I'm also getting, and this is a karmic soul contract. Somebody could be dealing with the Gemini or you could have Gemini on your chart somewhere. But this was a karmic as I feel like somebody betrayed you here or betrayed this person and stopped them from going towards a soul contract that they were supposed to have with you. I feel like something shifted. It changed. Yeah, something changed between you and somebody that was supposed to be together. Now you're on a different path or something. But the Ten of Swords is definitely a betrayal. I feel like the worst of a situation is over. But something ended horribly. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody could have a Taurus Saturn. Okay, I'm getting a waste of time. Some of y'all feel like you wasted time or you could have been really, really patient with somebody. But you feel like now it's a waste of time. You're not investing anymore into something. Okay, you could have been invested for seven to ten years with somebody else. Or this is this person. But there's a lot of setbacks and delays in someone's finances as well. Somebody's growing frustrated. They're growing impatient. A lot of things being postponed. Or this was a setback and delay with your connection with somebody here. Yeah, King of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Somebody was not brave enough to take action to come towards you. Or they were not brave enough to be a fucking leader. To have the courage and the confidence. You know? King of Wands in reverse is somebody that's bitter as well. They're a coward. King of Wands, yeah. King of Wands in reverse with the Queen of Wands upright. I feel like that's you, Capricorn. You moved on. You're going into a new partnership while this person is in reverse. They're still hurt about some shit. Okay, yeah, and they missed this opportunity with you. They're still hurt or they've been too busy trying to play get back with this fucking energy drainer. Now they're stuck and they use you to play get back with. <laughs> it's like that was the wrong decision to make, ho. It really was. Like, what? Let's see. Or you're ending some type of karmic soul karmic soul contract with the karmic in your energy or something like that where you were over giving somebody kept using abusing you using you okay um taking you for granted and i feel like you took your power back and now this contract has broken between you and a karmic okay something like that but what's the um ten of swords yeah five of cups in reverse yeah you can heal you can rest peacefully now right Everything is slowly starting to come together with the Knight of Pentacles. Definitely your hard work I'm getting is definitely paying off. Yeah, Nine of Cups, the Six of Swords. Yeah, you're, you've are you definitely moved on here, Capricorn. You're moving into calmer waters. Definitely I'm getting there's an energy of needing to pamper yourself. Really enjoy the fruits of your labor. Really enjoy your life here. Somebody might have a Scorpio, Mars, Pisces, Jupiter, Aquarius, Mercury. Yeah. So... Yeah, with the five of cups in reverse, though, I feel like you're healing, you're letting go of the past. You're walking away, you're you're leaving it where it is, and you're focused on the new. You're focused on moving forward. You know, you're focused on your growth, especially your spiritual growth, getting closer to God, your angels, your spirit guides, ancestors, whatever. Whatever you pray to. What's the seven of pentacles in reverse? Yep, page of wands. Yeah, this is good news for you. I feel like, yeah. Stand in your power. Stay strong here. You have definitely overcame some type of challenge, all right, that kept going on repeat. Something kept repeating itself, and I feel like you learned your lesson. I feel like you got frustrated and said, fuck it. You know, let me move ahead, and it took you somewhere else where you're supposed to go. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse with the Page of Wands. I'm getting good news because you stopped investing into something. You You pulled your energy back away from something, and it turned out to be really good for you. Page of Wands is, for some of you, there's somebody getting ready to reach out to you. And I feel like it'll be a bad investment if you, you need to stay strong, you know. Let's see. 
what's the page of wands right here because it could look good but i feel like it'll be a bad investment let's see but i feel like it was a good investment for you to stop investing in somebody and move forward move forward what's the page of wands right here spirit three of wands yeah some of y'all are are um getting good news about uh traveling some of you guys could be moving you're traveling you're getting frustrated though you're getting impatient it's like you want to move forward away from something you want to move out of something but i feel like you need to wait there's something that you're needing to wait for aries energy you could have aries in your chart somewhere so you could be waiting for your ships to come in or you waited for somebody i feel like you thought that somebody was going to come back but they it was always postponed or delayed or something like that yeah it's like you were waiting on something but i feel like you got frustrated you got upset for some of you this person here whoever this was they always wanted to have sex with you they came in to have sex they traveled towards you or something like that but i feel like you moved away some of you are definitely moving or you're traveling or you're just getting the fuck yeah you're not letting nobody know either but i feel like intuitively you know what's going on here with somebody and why they act the way that they act Yeah, this could have been a seven-year contract. Some of y'all, this is about your Saturn return here. You were going through some karma for seven years or something like that. And I feel like you passed all these tests. So you're moving on to something else. Okay, but Three of Wands talks about growth expansion. So you're definitely moving on. What's this King of Wands in reverse? You stop investing in this hoe because they are bitter. What's the King of Wands in reverse? They weak as fuck. Yeah, Four of Wands in reverse. Aries, Venus, somebody could have. And the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they're greedy. They're cheap as fuck. They're selfish. This person. Somebody could be a Capricorn here. But I'm just getting with the Four of Pentacles. This person here, they, they could have held back from you. Or this is you holding back from this person. But I feel like this person is quite possessive. They're very controlling. This person is a false-ass leader. They feel like they run some shit and they don't. They're a loser. Definitely emotion emotionally manipulative. Yeah, the devil. Yeah, you got rid of this person. <laughs> this person is toxic as hell. Mm -hmm. You took your power back from this person. This person could have played a lot of mind games with you. Or they, they were emotionally abusing you or gaslighting you for a while. This is somebody that's emotionally unavailable. Okay, they're scared to be vulnerable. It's like distorted energy. Yeah, you were stuck with this hoe for a while. Eight of Cups in reverse, faking your happiness. <laughs> I feel like you were too anxious or too scared to leave. Because this person here, they played on your mental a lot. You guys could be seeing 444. Definitely somebody that's, that you have a dysfunctional family dynamic with. This could be the father of your child or mother of your child. Or, um, I don't know, some type of masculine in your life here with this King of Wands in reverse. But I feel like you. there's a contract here that's broken. This is somebody here that's a fake supporter of you. They don't support you at all. They don't give a fuck about your ass. And I feel like you know that. That's why you're moving on. You don't give a fuck if this person is acting a fool or not. And they know. They already know. This is why this person is getting bad karma. Because they already know that this situation calls for them to be mature. But they don't want to do it though. They want to keep draining your energy. They want to keep acting a fucking fool. This person could be avoiding paying you child support. If you have children with this bitch, they're, pay they're avoiding trying to pay for anything. And so this shit is returning with the eight of wands in reverse is going fucking backwards. You stop communicating with this bitch, but they feel like something is still open or something like that. I feel like this person is a loser. Four of wands in reverse talks about a canceled event, something being canceled, a breakup, a divorce. I feel like it's a spiritual divorce, but for others of you, it's really a divorce. For some of you, somebody's trying to penny pinch. They're holding on to every little piece of change they got because they're getting ready. They're going to have to move. Somebody's going to have to move. Yeah, something backfired. Okay. But they're going to have to move here, leave their home, or they're trying to say to keep running some type of dysfunctional ass family unit that they're in. And But they're sitting over here trying to control your life, though. It's like, bitch, bye. And you over here about to be in a happy relationship where there's love, you know, maturity, okay, a real dynamic. Some of y'all are getting married and this bitch is going through a divorce. How ironic. What is um the acting a fool card? <laughs> What's acting a fool? Yeah, backfire. Seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're very defensive. Somebody can have a Leo Mars here, but I feel like you're very defensive. Yeah. Uh huh. You're very defensive. You're very guarded. You're still standing strong in, on what you believe in. You're not going to back down either. Just period. Yeah, and this person knows that shit here. They know that. 
What else for acting a fool? You have Nine of Cups and the Four of Swords. Yeah. Somebody can have a um, Libra Jupiter, Pisces Jupiter. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you're not playing with this person. You have your guards up. You're defending yourself. You're fighting back. This person knows that you're not playing with their bitch ass. <laughs> they know that. So I feel like you're really focused on you. You're pampering yourself. You're pulling your energy back. Okay. And you're really, really content. You're comfortable. You're happy. You're not letting nobody make you be pessimistic i feel like you're very optimistic okay you're sitting comfortable four swords you're resting really good here you're fine like there's nothing going on with you and this person is throwing this person off that's why they're the temperance in reverse yeah it's throwing them off they're trying to regain balance but they can't okay because they don't have your energy anymore yeah they can't use you they can't whatever this is i feel like there's some type of emotional connection you have with this person or you have with them where they continue to use your energy to manifest off of or they they like they need you to um be emotionally attached to them to kind of like drain you to keep you fucked up mentally or emotionally it's like they can't do that shit no more you're pulling back yeah they, they can't do this fuck shit no more yeah the devil in reverse again it's like this person is a gaslighter they're bitter they feel like this is a form of revenge for you but i feel like you got your bitch payback as a hoe uh, just period so the four of swords right here i feel like somebody could be quite stressed or they kept you stuck in your head here all right but the four of swords i feel like i feel like you're at peace some of y'all are picking up a uh, spiritual practices you're meditating you're doing yoga you're doing everything that you can to keep yourself balanced because i feel like this bitch over here they really they really don't give a fuck you guys could be saying 10 10 Okay, uh, what's um the Seven of Wands? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, your hard work paying off here. You standing up for yourself is definitely going to pay off. Yeah, Three of Cups, the Hermit, the Lovers, the Ace of Swords. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you're celebrating. You're growing. Okay, you can have options in love here. You're going to have to make a major choice in love coming up. But I feel like there's a kindred spirit, a divine counterpart that could be coming in. And this is going to be a real relationship. You're getting a victory. This person tried to maybe stop you from going towards somebody or stop you from finding true love because they wanted to keep you stuck in this scheme, this revenge plot or whatever the fuck this was that they had against you. But not a pentacle. Somebody is a hard worker. Okay, they're very dependable. They're reliable things have moved slow this person has slowed you the fuck down but i feel like your hard work is paying off though you kept moving and that's you know that's the secret sauce i feel like you you're very strong here cappy so somebody here really tried it <clears throat> what's the nine of cups this person is greedy they're selfish yeah three of pentacles yeah you're getting everything that you want some of y'all you're definitely getting a partnership here when it comes down to your work here you're protecting your money your 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 whatever you have that you're getting you're protecting that shit. You're protecting your partnership because I'm definitely getting a relationship or a contract could be coming in where you're going to love whatever this is. going to make you feel comfortable, happy, content. You're going to feel all that. Definitely, you're going to be spoiled here too with this nine of cups. You're going to really be able to sit back and enjoy whatever this is because somebody's going to put in that work for you and to be with you. Somebody's going to put in the effort. I'm getting a team effort where you're not going to be putting in that work by yourself. Yeah. Sun in reverse, king of pentacles in reverse, and the devil. Yeah, it's just like bitch by Devil in reverse. Somebody could have a Capricorn on Mars. But I'm getting with the Three of Pentacles, definitely commitment. You're committed to working on yourself. You're committed to doing whatever it is that you're doing for work as well. You can really like what you're doing for work or whatever. But I feel like somebody here wanted their cake and to, to eat it too. They wanted both things. They wanted you and somebody else. Or they wanted, I don't know, this person is greedy. They're selfish. But I feel like your, your spirit guys, your angels, this is your spirit team. With the three of pentacles, I always get that. This is your spirit team protecting you, like doing things in divine order. There's a blueprint here. Things are supposed to, things that happen to you, right? You know, uh, Capricorn are what's supposed to happen for your um, spiritual growth. So now you're experiencing, you, you have the key now to the Akashic Records. It's here twice. Mm -hmm. What's this four swords? Yeah, Eight of Cups. Yeah, they ass is stress. Or they had your ass like this. I feel like you're just reflecting. Some of y'all are healing. Uh, whatever insecurities these were, abandonment issues. Somebody could have a Pisces, Saturn. But yeah, the Eight of Cups is like faking happiness, you know, in reverse. It's, I feel like somebody's trying to plan or figure out how to come back or something like that. 
I do. But the Eight of Cups in Reverse definitely talks about somebody that's non-committal. They're faking their happiness. They're very insecure. Their ass is stuck in the past and you're moving on. You rest easy at night. You don't give a fuck about any of this shit here. Just period. But I do feel like you're reflecting. You're thinking about something. Some of y'all, there could still be a little bit of fear here. You're, you're still thinking about something. Yeah, about this father figure or whatever. Yeah, somebody's abusive. King of Swords, Eight of Swords in reverse, and the Devil in reverse. Yeah, whoever this is, this could be the, your child's father or this could, I don't know, this could be any damn body. Somebody could be getting released from jail. Somebody went to jail, they're getting released. But I feel like you're released from jail. You're getting released from this prison of torture with this person there's a karmic contract here that you don't have to worry about anymore but i feel like you still think about it or you contemplate it or you think like what if they try to return or what if you know yeah eight of swords in reverse it talks about um overcoming some type of abuse definitely i feel like somebody played on your mind a lot this is abuse whatever the fuck this is you know what's the four swords with the eight of cups in reverse Yeah, six of wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody is being quiet now. I feel like they're being quiet because they're stuck. They can't move forward. They lost. Whatever the fuck this was. You got a Virgo highly aspected in your chart. Or this could be a Virgo. Okay, that's done this to you. Somebody could have a Leo Jupiter. But I'm getting... This could be a lot of people here that try to do something to you, Capricorn. But the six of wands in reverse is treacherous energy. This is um somebody here that lost. This is like having pride before a fall. Somebody here is really prideful they don't want to look like they're a loser but they really are though this person needs to accept this l move the fuck on is what i'm getting you know yeah this person is not victorious and whatever the fuck this is and i feel like they need to sit the fuck down i feel like that's what they're doing they're contemplating they're thinking i feel like they're stressed because they're stuck they don't know what to do eight of cups in reverse this person here Really try to take you out or do something. Drain you of your energy and keep this bullshit-ass cycle open. It's like, bitch, bye. You gotta be, like, out of your goddamn mind. What's what's this energy drainer? The four of cups. Might have a cancer moon. Yeah, knight of cups. Yeah, I told you this person is very emotionally manipulative. They, here they go again. King of cups in reverse. This person is obsessed with you. They have some type of weird-ass obsession. I feel like they're quite envious and jealous as well. But the Knight of Cups in Reverse is somebody that's like, somebody that wants to treat you as like a one night stand or they, you know, there's like unrequited love here, this fake ass love, this fake ass offer. And I feel like they feel rejected. They feel rejected by you. I feel like they, they can't focus on their own future because they keep focusing on you. You know, it's like they want you out of everybody else around their ass. They want you. Yeah, the star in reverse and they're not going to get it. Aquarius energy doesn't have to be an Aquarius. But yeah, they're getting left the fuck out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. This person is bored. They're bored. I feel like they're bored because you're not saying anything to them anymore. They can't drain your energy. That's why I said that in the beginning or at first. Yeah, you're too powerful. You took your power back. So now I feel like they're going to move on to their next victim, which is sad. Really fucking sad. With the star in reverse, it definitely talks about somebody's just out of touch with themselves. They can't create anything. They're bored with their life. They don't have no sense of purpose. They don't know where the fuck they're going, what they're doing, but definitely somebody's in despair. They're losing faith and they're hopeless. Whoever the fuck this is for treating you like this. I feel like now this person is being cowardly because they don't want to confront you either. They don't want the drama no more. The shit that they didn't cause, they don't want that. It's like, I can't. What's the four of cups? Yeah, Will of Fortune. Yeah, now they're going to have to sit here and pout and look stupid as hell. Yeah, this could be a Virgo you got rid of. Virgo, Scorpio. Child by. Will of Fortune in reverse. Sagittarius energy. That's that Jupiter. Somebody's getting bad luck. Things are not turning in someone's favor. They don't like this change. It's very they're not welcoming with welcoming it with open arms. They're really disgusted. They're sitting here bored and miserable. They're at a stalemate. They're stuck. <laughs> they're stuck. And they keep thinking about you. I feel like they keep fantasizing or thinking about you. They keep being stuck on the past here. And I feel like this is why they're stuck in this wheel that won't turn out in their favor. What's the Knight of Cups in reverse? This person don't like rejection at all. Yeah, Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this, this person... <laughs> 
I feel like you're showing disinterest. You don't, you don't, yeah, because you know something about them with the, the, the moon here. You know something about this person already. Okay, I feel like whatever you're working on, whatever family dynamic you're going into, um, Capricorn, you're keeping it quiet. Okay, I feel like you've mastered a lot. Hey, you mastered fear. I feel like whatever it is, I feel like it's still a little bit there though. So I feel like you don't need to fear anything. Okay, be happy, move on with your life. This bitch is a coward. They're they're very revengeful, yes, but they're a coward. They're weak as fuck. I, I mean, I, I just feel like they don't have nothing going on here. So you just need to kind of like. Try to do maybe up your spiritual practices, up your protection. Do whatever you have to do to keep yourself protected, right? Or to feel protected, okay? Because you are. You're fine. But, you know, with the Ace of Wands in reverse, I feel like this is somebody here that has a dirty ass dangling. Okay, this person here is nasty as hell for one. Ace of Wands in reverse is just giving me dusty ass energy with the Knight of Cups. This person here is promiscuous. They get around. They keep fantasizing about you as well. And I feel like they're bored with whoever they're with or whoever they keep fucking around with. Okay, if they are fucking around with other people, this person here can masturbate to you a lot. Is what I'm getting. They they use your energy to like they they do. This person was well, definitely somebody is having a blocked intuition. Their creative juices are not flowing. They're blocked and their creative um endeavors and their intuition is blocked. <laughs> they're delayed, they're stuck. This person is trying. What's the star in reverse? Yeah, two of wands. Yeah, this plan or, or strategy to get this partnership with you with the two of wands. It could be a business partnership. doesn't have to be. It could be a romantic one, whatever. It failed. Yeah, now this person is stuck with the Empress in reverse. Or they were hoping that you stayed in the Empress in reverse. That shit failed. I feel like you're divine as fuck now. You're moving on with your life. But whoever this is, they're stuck with an Empress in reverse. Taurus, Libra energy. They're bored with this person. They don't like to have sex with this person or anything. <laughs> They really do not. This person's plan, somebody can have Aries, Mars, but this person's plan to keep you in this insecure energy, they wanted to keep you low as, as low as can be, right? They wanted to stop you from creating or they wanted to drain you of your energy to stop you from going towards your destined path to get them on their path. And it's like, bitch, you, this person is lazy as fuck. Somebody is lazy. They don't have no passion for life, no anything. Some of y'all are healers. The devil in reverse, the high priestess, and the queen of pentacles. Some of y'all are witches here. Your natural born witches. You have the power to defeat whatever this toxic energy is, and you did. With the devil in reverse, you took your power back from this person. The queen of pentacles is definitely a witch. They're a healer. They're a good witch, though, with them upright. Definitely with the high priestess. Some of y'all can do this for work here. Some of y'all have done spell. You did a spell to stop this person, and it worked. They ass is stuck. <laughs> Yeah, you guys, are, you, could, you guys could be studying this here. You're studying, okay, um, divination or something like that, witchcraft. Nothing wrong with it, okay? I'm tired of people in my comments saying that. If you have a different belief, then move around. But there's nothing wrong with good witchcraft to stop somebody from trying to hurt you. Okay, if you want to up your protection, you, you can do that. You're not doing anything bad. It's all about your intentions. Like I told Aries, and who else I told this to? Taurus, you know? But somebody really wanted to keep you in this insecure as energy and they failed. This person here failed from stopping you from going towards your destiny. Yeah, five of swords and a magician. Yeah, you hold all the power here. Yeah, and whatever you did for some of you, you did do some magic. The magician, five of swords and a ace of ace of swords here. You you got some type of victory. Five of swords talks about um fighting back, defending yourself. So you I feel like you got the last laugh in the situation you defeated somebody's toxic ass and now they're sitting up here stuck and looking dumb as hell they're playing to kind of like they're playing to, they're strategizing on how to like keep you in this low vibrational energy but i'm definitely getting to that they're stuck with somebody they ass is stuck with somebody that they don't even fuck with they can't manifest off of them they can't have sex with this person and use that sacral energy to manifest anything you know i feel like their money is slowing down everything is slowing down for them tragic but that's what the fuck they get. What's going on here for Capricorn? This car keep coming out. So we have bad date. I don't feel like this is going to work out. We may not be a match. Yeah, then we have movie night. Spending time together. I love being with you. We had so much fun. <laughs> One more. So somebody here, I 
feel like every time you go on a date with this person, it always ends up bad or something like that. that I feel like that's your history. Marriage material. I hate nothing about you. Yeah, somebody knows it's your marriage material. They want to take you out, but the door is fucking closed. Yeah, trickery. This is a trick. This was a trick here. To keep, yeah, to keep this cycle open, I told you. Yeah, this person, <laughs> they disrespect whoever the fuck they're with, too. They don't even want to be with this person. They want to be with your ass. But this was a trick. Like, they treat everybody like this, right? They treat everybody like this. They know that you're marriage material. They know that you're something serious to be fucking with. But instead, they did this shit here. They really, really came up against a high priestess. They ass is dark. This person is dark as hell. <laughs> now they're talking shit about you. They're talking shit about you behind your back, saying all type of shit. But yet, instead, they know that you're marriage material. They want to date you. This person is a loser. And they are actually very pathetic, you know. This is ridiculous. But yet, they want to be around you. It's like, bitch, bye. They fooled everybody else that they talking shit to you about. So we have on top of the world here. Yeah, multiple options. Dates booming. They're ready for love. Then we have businessman. Slow to commit. A boss will take a boss will take care of you. Only once one woman attracted to you. Yeah, this is what they try to convince you of. Heartbreak. Something you saw. Painful. Heart hurting. Sad and depressed. Yeah. This person try to convince you that they're a businessman or they da 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 da. And they're not. For some of you, this is this person that's heartbroken because you are with a businessman. You're taking your time with this person. Okay, yeah, pace, getting to know each other. So some of you guys could be getting to know somebody. Who's this businessman right here? Because it says slow to commit. So intuition. The universe is guiding you. Follow your intuition. Wow, karma, home. What else for this businessman with the intuition? This person is burning sage, so I feel like this person ain't shit, really. But let's see. Alone. Solitude, quarantine, withdrawal, contemplation, and antisocial. I love you, mature man, and good news. Okay, so for some of you, this person, you're dating somebody that's a businessman. You're going into a contract with somebody else that's a businessman. This person here is alone. They take their time. Okay, they're taking their time to study you, get to know you here. So there's a need to use this sage to clear this other energy out of your life. Yeah. But I feel like this person, whoever this, this other person is, your ex or whoever the fuck, they're heartbroken because they see that you're with somebody else. You don't want to be with their ass. What's acting a fool? Oh, what is this role right here? Yeah, so we have wedge here, force, third party. Yeah, someone interfering, trying to stop someone from moving forward. Yeah, this person is a loser. Yeah, locked up. This could be a spiritual jail or a real jail. But it says street dudes. Somebody here could be, uh, 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 they could be from the streets, okay? Legal issues, unexpected call, being released, or no bond. Mm. Then we have karma. Yeah, so this could be somebody's karma. They're going to get fucking caught up in the legal system because of their addictions. Something could be happening in the springtime. This person could be getting locked up in the spring. Okay, it says karma. Why me? Good or bad karma? Karmic cycle. Justice will be served. Just period. Just period, Capricorn. So we have doors open. Go for it. Take a leap of faith. They're ready. Okay. Forever love. Trust this is the one. Spiritual connection. Contentment. Putting in the effort. And then we have work overload. Working too hard. Too much. I mean, too much work. Stretching yourself thin. Sleep declined. So some of you guys could be um working a lot here. Some of y'all need to get some rest, but the door is open for you to date whoever the fuck it is that you're dating. Because I feel like a partnership is coming in and this person over here is sad. They're in despair because they're stuck with a fucking empress in reverse. That's all over the fucking place. Yeah, very soon, bottom of the deck. Getting engaged. I want to marry you. You are my world. I'm forever yours. Yeah. Something is going to last forever. We have forever here twice. So some of y'all could be getting engaged quite quickly to somebody because they know that they want you somebody is in your energy that's sure that they want you for sure you know okay so this could be a new person for some of you okay somebody here that really knows that the, yeah told you retaliation punish payback and revenge this person <laughs> they feel like you belong to them you shouldn't be having sex with nobody else you shouldn't be giving your goods to anybody you shouldn't be dating anybody else this person is a loser and they're possessive controlling and demonic all of that 
They ass is crazy. <laughs> like for real. So we have children, young, childhood, and playful, mesmerized, can't stop staring at you. And then we have amazed, looking even better in person than the last time. Yeah, I feel like you blowing the fuck up on somebody. Somebody is so in love with you. You could have children with this person. They're obsessed with you, but I feel like it's all for the wrong reasons. This person, they're in love with you, but then they go behind your back and talk shit about you. It's like they, they could even say shit to your children about you and shit like that, or they're trying to turn your children against you. It's because you won't give them a chance. You won't fuck with them. Yeah, you're silent. You don't want to fuck with them. <laughs> okay, some of y'all are reuniting with your twin flame here or you're already in union with your twin. That could be this forever love here. Okay, this person saw that you were with somebody else and they got mad. They got mad. <laughs> but I feel like they're with somebody else too. So it's like, bitch, you just don't like the person that you're with. You're disrespectful and you want me to disrespect my person. I think the fuck not. Somebody who wants you to ruin everything for yourself to fuck with them. And it's like, they don't have a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of. So it's like, bitch, bye. Yeah, divine masculine. It says failure to launch. Couldn't get things going. Mr. Krabs, hard on the outside, soft on the inside. Then we have divine masculine. About to take a risk, gamble to see you. About to gamble, about to take a risk to see you. Hmm. So something here failed to take off in the beginning between you and a divine masculine. All right. And it could have been because somebody is hard on the inside and or it, it could be because somebody is hard on the outside, but soft on the inside. Somebody needs to get in, in tune with their emotions, their feelings. Or you kept blocking somebody out here, Capricorn, because you weren't for sure if this was the one. Okay. And it was because you still had somebody in your fucking energy trying to get you back. I feel like you just were unaware of it. This person is sneaky. They strategize, they plan shit behind your back, and they talk about you behind your fucking back. What's this Divine Masculine card? Denial, not facing truth, irrational reasoning. Yeah, obsession, layers, multiple factors, unconditional love. Hmm. Yeah, what else? If somebody here was in denial, or you could you were in denial about this person being your Divine Masculine. But I feel like this other person wanted that to happen to you, though. They wanted you to just kind of like ruin, a, ruin a, a beautiful connection that you have with somebody. Just period. Because they want you back. They don't want you to have nobody else. Yeah, so we have trash. Discarding, throwing out, bragging, telling people about you. Then we have retaliation, punish, payback, and revenge. <laughs> this person is crazy as hell. What is this bragging? Bragging about what? Focus, eyes for you, fascinated, watching. And then we have ascension, spiritual path, and awakening. <laughs> this person did a lot to feel validated by you. This person could have bragged about you and talked good about you at one point. But I feel like they turned into a fucking hater. Whoever the fuck this is. Okay, with bragging. I feel like there's people around this person that fuck with you, that like you. But they're trying to convince other people that you ain't shit. Okay, it's like somebody has been really focused on you. They've been watching you grow. They've been watching you ascend. And they're mad. They're mad that everybody here likes you. They fuck with you and all that. They're frustrated. They feel like they're trash to you. They feel like you discarded them. And I feel like that's exactly what it is, bitch. You are discarded. You are a piece of goddamn trash. Because <laughs> you act like it. So move along. Move around. Somebody is mad. They're mad. They are mad. Because you won't give them a fucking chance. What else? It's like, bitch, move on with your raggedy ass life. Roller coaster, high is high, adrenaline rush. Yeah, they get some type of high off draining your fucking energy. They do. Yeah, they like to keep your emotions up and down, up and down. Interlude, pause, timing factor. And then we have pop up, spontaneous, unexpected visit. Surprise visit. Bitch, please don't pop up. What's, what's pop up right here? Ugh. Yeah, poison, toxic, unhealthy behaviors and people. What's pop up with poison? Yeah, happiness in reverse. Somebody that's miserable. So here they come, Capricorn. They're coming back to try to see if they can drain your energy the fuck again. So now is the, now is the time for you to kind of like stand your ground because they are strategizing, playing to fucking make you the Empress in reverse. They want you to just be upset all the fucking time. What is this interlude? 
on the table offer proposal commitment <laughs> or they, they're trying to get back into your energy what's interlude with the on the table card grip anchor chains weighed down yeah somebody is weighed down so they're going to come in and give you some type of offer because they're tired of carrying around this burden or they're tired of like watching you live your life successfully and they want to be in your energy so you really need to be mindful of this fucking person all right they have lost their goddamn mind for a fact let's see how can i be more flexible right now what are you trying to control maybe it's time to let go let love move through you today and trust the outcome will be for your highest good today's soul action remind yourself all day long that you are safe that life is happening for you and that you are not alone then do some yoga yeah up your spiritual practices i told you yeah i feel like you're still worried about somebody okay shit this was on the bottom okay i'm not gonna take them i'm mixing them here and shuffle again but i feel like um i feel like you're still worried a little bit and i because I, I feel like you still this person is still in your energy they are they're coming up in your fucking reading so you know you could be kind of like eh. <sighs> do i surround myself with people who lift me up okay the people with whom we surround ourselves determine who we become does your tribe fill you up do they inspire you do they believe in you do they help you step into your greatest potential Today's soul action, make a desired list of the type of people with whom you wish to surround yourself and clarify if there, if there is anyone in your life who no longer serves you. Can you love them from a distance? Okay. What, what do I resist feeling right now? We have to feel it to heal it. In order to let go of pain, we first have to honor its existence. Emotions are like waves. Some are soft, some are fierce, some are layered, and some will sweep you off your feet. When we allow ourselves to feel it all, we can then release what no longer serves us. Today's soul action. Let, allow yourself to feel this wave. Let it move through you, no matter how long it lasts. Then release it back into the ocean. Feel it, heal it, enjoy the sweet freedom within your soul. Yeah. Some of y'all need to. Um, do I know all my strengths and am I using them? Yeah, you. Some of y'all really need to know your strength. Your. I feel like you do, but I feel like there's still a little bit of worry because of how this person traumatized you they did traumatize you this person is a loser they're weak as fuck and they're very revengeful they're, they play a lot of mental and, and uh, emotional mind games i mean emotional games with you they play on your mental a lot so this person yeah they're draining your energy some of y'all need to just stop focusing on them and fucking clear your energy out do a spell shit do a spell to fucking stop this person from getting you know what I'm saying? To protect yourself. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It don't have to be bad, but you need to fucking remove this person out of your energy. So that way you can focus on the good shit that's happening in your life, you know? But this was your read, no Capricorn. I hope it resonated. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, Cappy.